there and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate and I'm wearing some snazzy glasses for you today. Let me know if you like them in the comments below. So if you're new to Most Amazing Top 10, it is the time of day where we package weird and wonderful things into top 10 lists for you. And I'm very excited because today we are doing top 10 shocking Shia LaBeouf moments. Yes. So first up guys, I want to hear from you. Are you a fan of Shia LaBeouf? Let me know in the comments below. Also let me know your favourite favourite Shia moment. Shia surprise! In a bid to help you learn a little bit more about superstar Shia LaBeouf, we have composed the top 10 shocking Shia LaBeouf moments. Yes! So in at number 10, we have the time he asked us to touch his soul. Now this is one of the more positive shocking moments for Shia. In his recent artistic quest, he put on a four day art installation called Touch My Soul, which ran in Liverpool in England. During this time, he gave out his number and asked members of public to call him. Now I personally spent like, I don't know, hours and hours trying to call Shia. I think I must have tried to call him about 100 times. Not that many people were able to get through, but some did in fact manage to touch his soul. Luckily for those who weren't able to get through to him on the phone, he did live stream the whole event. Talking of live streaming, this leads us into our point number 9. At number 9 we have the moment Shia LaBeouf live streamed falling asleep to Transformers. In November 2015, Shia LaBeouf watched all of his movies in reverse order at New York's Angelica Cinema and he live streamed the event which he called hashtag all my movies. Unfortunately Shia nodded off at a pivotal moment in his movie watching. It was Transformers. He had a nap. He did wake up for Transformers 2 though, so you know, that's good. Shia said he went to sleep not because he was tired, but because he was watching himself and thought, oh, I hate myself. I'm dying right now. This makes me feel really sorry for Shia. I love it. I love Transformers Shia. In at number 8, we have the time he was actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. One of my favourite things that happened in 2014 was the Rob Cantor Shia LaBeouf experimental dance video. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out, it's on YouTube, it has had over 30 million views. Songwriter Rob Cantor made an incredible pastiche music video that depicted Shia LaBeouf as a cannibal on a murderous rampage during which he sharpens an axe and draws a gun. Now during this dance we have kind of experimental cloths being thrown and we have dancers in huge giant 3D Shia LaBeouf heads. The song ends with Shia being decapitated but Shia surprise, there's somebody clapping in the auditorium. The camera pans, it is Shia LaBeouf himself sitting in an empty auditorium watching this crazy dance piece. It is incredible. He is endorsing being actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Running through the shadows. Shia. Shia. Alright, so we've eased you in gently there. Now it's time to ramp up the crazy in our top 10 Shia LaBeouf shocking moments. So, in at number 7, we have the time he claimed he slept with Megan Fox when she was in a relationship. In 2011, Shia pretty much confessed to having an ongoing affair with Megan Fox on the set of Transformers. When asked if she was with the man she would later marry, Brian Austin Green, he said it was what it was. Essentially, he was saying yes. Now, this reportedly deeply upset upset Megan and put a huge strain on her relationship with Brian. The pair are now separated. Now we're not sure if this is as a result of the Shire affair, but it probably didn't help. In at number 6, we have the time he was caught headbutting a guy on CCTV in an East London pub. Now this is the very same East London pub that I used to frequent as a student. It was right next to my university goldsmiths. It was the Hobgoblin. It was absolutely like the best with students. Who knows what superstar Shia LaBeouf was doing doing there other than apparently headbutting people. In 2014, Shia was caught headbutting a fellow drinker on CCTV. Apparently, he and the unidentified male got into a fight as the guy reportedly insulted Shia's girlfriend's mum. Shia then apologised, saying that his actions were because he was super normal. Unfortunately, this wasn't the first time that Shia had got into an altercation in the very same pub. In 2012, police were called after he got in a brawl with a guy who apparently tried to steal his hat. Never try and steal Shia LaBeouf's hat. In at number 5, the time he was filmed threatening to kill his girlfriend, then went for a McDonald's with some German lads. In a shocking video shot by a local guy in Germany, we see a very drunk Shia LaBeouf arguing with his girlfriend Mia Goff. 
Now she tries to stop him from leaving by taking his backpack, which doesn't go down well. Luckily, there are a group of German guys who came in to break up the argument. The German guys then took Shire in under their wing and drove him off. In the car, he has a drunken babble with the German guys, during which he said he would have killed his girlfriend if he'd have stayed there. Shire then proceeds to try and FaceTime Megan Fox, talk about gun laws in Germany, and then ultimately go for a McDonald's with the German lads. I mean, what an evening. In at number 4, we have the time he was punched by a shirtless hairy fat guy in Vancouver, and it was all caught on camera. I mean, you can't make these up. In 2011, Shire got into a street fight with a large hairy man without a shirt outside a bar in Vancouver, Canada. Why the guy wasn't wearing a shirt, we don't know, but what we do know is that he was pummeling Shire. Why do we know this? Because it's all caught on camera. The guy has Shire on the floor, he's punching him in the head. Luckily, a guy on crutches comes to intervene and the fight is broken up. Now, there are unconfirmed rumors that this fight took place over a cheeseburger. Now, this wouldn't surprise me. In at number three, we have the time Shire wasn't famous anymore. In February 2014, after quoting famous footballer Eric Cantona and walking out of a press conference for his movie Nymphomaniac for seemingly no reason, Shire then proceeded to attend the movie's premiere with a paper bag over his head. Now, Shire wore a tux, looking suave so far, but oh no, paper bag right over the head, eye holes cut out, and in big black marker, I'm not famous anymore. What was going through his mind? Following his red carpet meltdown, Shire hit that it might all be performance art. The next day, he began an installation at an LA gallery called I'm Not Sorry, during which he wore a paper bag over his head and allowed visitors to choose from a table of objects, including Jack Daniels, a whip, Hershey kisses. He then allowed them to come in and sit with him whilst he silently cried wearing his paper bag. Shire. Getting pretty shocking here at number two, the time Shia LaBeouf revealed he was raped. Now, during the aforementioned I'm Not Sorry exhibition, Shire Shire says he was raped by a female member of public. One visitor to the installation reportedly picked up the whip. Shire said she whipped him for 10 minutes, stripped off his clothes, and then proceeded to rape him. He said his girlfriend heard there was something going on, burst in on the two, and asked for an explanation. You know, my thoughts are with Shire through this difficult time. Okay, guys, so we have had it all in this top 10 Shia LaBeouf shocking moments. We've had like a lot of McDonald's incidents, a fair amount of Megan Fox incidents. We've had kind of beatings in the streets. We've had actual cannibals. But what is at number one of our top 10 shocking Shia LaBeouf moments? In at number one, a day I like to refer to as Shia's big day, the time he slapped Alan Cumming in the ass and then spat at police officers. So, June the 26th, 2014 was a big day for Shia, and possibly his most shocking of all. Now, Shia started what would turn into a chaotic evening of events in New York City by chasing a homeless man and demanding demanding he give him his McDonald's. I'm not surprised that McDonald's features yet again. I think if in doubt, just give him a burger. Following this incident, Shire then went to see a Broadway show at Studio 54. The show was Cabaret starring Alan Cumming. A lovely evening, except he was wasted. During the performance, Shire reportedly caused a disturbance by lighting a cigarette and then randomly slapping people on the ass. One such person was the lead in the show, Alan Cumming. Shire has since said, I grabbed a whole cheek because I wanted the party right there in my pants. Shire then went on to burst out a stream of obscene language. He went on to say many, many words that I can't repeat in this video. When the police were called, he then spat at them. He was spitting at everyone. He was spitting so much that they even reportedly tried to put a mask on Shire to stop the spit flying. This was certainly a shocking day for Shia LaBeouf. McDonald's, slapping, spitting, calm down Shire. That said, I am a fan of Shia LaBeouf. I think maybe he just needs to tone it down a little bit. He's an amazing guy and I really like his artistic works. Let me know what you think of Shia LaBeouf in the comments below. So that was our top 10 most shocking Shia LaBeouf moments. Did I miss anything out? Let me know by sounding off down below. Do we love Shia LaBeouf? I love Shia LaBeouf. I am Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. I'll see you next time. Shia LaBeouf.